Idiga has announced their latest PAL series ITX micro tower desktop alongside with their Bolt gaming monitors a few weeks ago. So unlike the illegal Poseidon that comes in the huge chassis, the Pulse is a completely different set of computer builds, especially for PC gaming enthusiasts that prefer a low profile system that doesn't take up a lot of space. Given the nature of this particular NZXT H1 chassis and the vast selection of custom PC building services out there, instead of testing the system components which you can literally watch on plenty of other review channels, today we shall be answering two questions the customer might be asking before they decide on purchasing this PC. Number one, what is Illegal Pulse? And number two, why Illegal? Let us get the specs out of the way. The one we have here comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. Uh, it is mounted on the Gigabyte X570i Oros Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. And the GPU is a small one, Zotac GeForce RTX 2060 Super Twin Fan Mini. And the RAM is a 2 sticks of 8GB of G-Skill Trident Z 3600MHz. The SSD is a weird one. Instead of giving us a M.2 drive, they have mounted a 480 gigs of Seagate Barracuda Q1 and it is a 2.5 inch SSD. Well, not to say it is bad, but given the ITX, usually we will opt for M.2 drives instead of 2.5 inch drives. And all of those are enclosed inside this beautiful little NZXT H1 white version case. This whole configuration will cost you at 8,215 Ringgit Malaysia. Well, we'll leave the price aside for now. First, we have to tackle on the ITX build. First, if you ever built an ITX system before, choosing the right components is one of the most fun yet troublesome process. Unlike how large systems usually don't have to worry about GPU or cooler clearance, small form factor PCs like this one, well, you have to pay extra attention to the product dimensions. Hence, this is the reason why this infamous NZXT H1 ITX case is so popular at launch. The novel concept of providing a complete ITX solution that includes the chassis, SFX power supply, and CPU AIO cooler makes it one of the easiest ITX builds available in the market, especially for those who are getting their hands on a small form factor build for the first time. Well, if you guys are interested in this case, do check out our review of the NZXT H1 case in case you miss it. The demo system here is, uh, well, again, uh, has a weird configuration pairing with the Ryzen 7 3800X and the RTX 2060 Super. Now, if you will ask me, I would easily downgrade the CPU for, let's say, a Ryzen 5 3600 and go for the RTX 2070 Super. However, that is just part of the story because Illigear is giving customers the option to pick and match the components by themselves. Now, the real question is, how would the chassis support the new RTX 30 series cards, especially those uh, AIB partners cards with uh, huge heat sinks and shroud? Besides, with the included 650 watt gold rated 80 plus power supply, it is likely that the highest possible configuration would be the RTX 3070. Illegal did told us they would be testing the new cards and update their system builder page accordingly. Now all that brings us to the next question. Why choose Illegal when there are plenty of other PC shops out there offering custom PC building service as well? Now here's the thing. We have to go back to our initial uh, pricing again. I did some math alongside uh, the components and yes, if you were to build the exact same PC, the same case, the same parts and components, everything, the rough pricing you probably have to spend about uh, 7,000 ringgit, which is uh, about 1,200 ringgit cheaper than Illegal's offering. So what kind of services you're paying for Illegal? I mean, for the same components is that they are adding 3 years of warranty on top of 
all your existing components inside there. Now here's an example. Let's say your AIO CPU cooler usually comes at about two years of warranty. Now if you purchase this whole system from Illegal, they will give you three years. Even though that AIO is two years, but they'll cover it for the third year for you. That means uh, less hassle when you want to claim warranties, you know, especially when you buy the components from different stores because each of them have different price outside there, you know. So ultimately, what you are paying that extra price is that you're getting the, the service, the PC built for you and the warranty service that they help you settle everything. I know there are some quite troublesome uh, warranty claiming process available up there, but it really depends on the uh, how the brands and their distributors handle this issue. In short, yes, you are paying for their services and they do have two different warranty uh, services. Number one is the carry-in warranty service. In case you have any problem with your PC, you just have to carry your PC back to Illegal and they will sort it out for you. Number two is a sort of premium warranty services where they come to your place and perhaps troubleshoot and bring it back uh, everything in case there's some problems they could not solve at your place. So on the spot warranty service. So at the end of the day, uh, right now Illegal do provide you with uh, custom laptops. Now they have custom desktop big one, the Poseidon, and the small one, the Pulse. And they also have monitors as well. Oh, besides that, they also have plenty of uh, peripherals like mouse and mouse pad. I'm not sure if they have keyboard. That's uh, another topic for another day. Yep, so that's uh, what do you guys think about the new Illegal Pulse? And would you pay extra for uh, the better warranty services? consider that they add on to that. So yeah, that's uh, the end of this video. Oh, don't forget to check out our first look impression of the Illegal Boat series of monitors. They are good looking ones and quite reasonably priced as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.